Munadaka Murakami has been hitting the headlines of late for being a record setter. While Aaron Judge was breaking the home run code in America over in Japan, Munataka demolished the record for most home runs in a season by any Japanese born player. And do you know what else? He's just 22 years old. This kid is scary and he's ready to take over the MLB. Should you be scared? If he finally comes to America and he doesn't sign for your favorite team, then yes, you should be scared. And his coming to Major League Baseball is not just a matter of rumor anymore. He said already that he wants to play for the MLB. He's just biding his time until he is no longer subject to the international bonus pools set by the MLB. So he's recently signed a three-year contract with the Occult Swallows, which means he'll be 25 years old by the time he debuts in an American Diamond. But before you get all too excited, who's Munataka Murakami really? What makes him so special, so good, and yet so dangerous? Munataka Murakami is a professional baseball infielder born on February 2nd, 2000 in Kumamoto, the capital city of Kumamoto Prefecture. His father is Koya, mother Fumio, and he has two brothers, namely Kaita and Tomoyuki. His introduction to baseball was quick. It was his elder brother, Tomoyuki, who first exposed him to baseball when he took him to a local sports club. At the age of five, he was already trying to swing a bat and loving it. The family was never any stranger to the sport as his father had once played baseball in high school, but had chosen to quit after having surgery in his right shoulder. But that didn't stop him from giving his son a few lessons. When Munadaka was right for high school, he enrolled in Tugushu Gukwin Integrated High School. While there, his talent got him registered as a regular cleanup hitter and first baseman in his first year and as a catcher in his second and third years. He was instrumental for the team as he led the team to the 2015 Koshin National Tournaments in his first year. Unfortunately, they didn't make it past the first round, but this didn't stop him from making a name for himself early. After spending three years playing for his high school team, he had hit 52 home runs in total with a batting average of .288. He had 17 homers, 70 RBIs, and 16 stolen bases in the Eastern League, earning him the Outstanding Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, and Effort Awards. Because he was so good, they named him the Babe Ruth of Higa. Higa, by the way, is the former name of Kuyomoto Prefecture. But as grandiose as his nickname was, he didn't let it get to his head as he acknowledged his weakness. My selling point is my long hitting ability, which allows me to hit wide angle shots. As a catcher, I'm lacking in many areas. He had said that before he was drafted into the professional baseball, he was part of the first round of the 2017 Nippon Professional Baseball Draft. Three teams fought for his signature the Tokyo Yakult Swallows, the Rakuten Golden Eagles, and the Yomiuri Giants. The Swallows won the lottery and gave him the number 55 jersey to wear. But of course, the most important numbers here will have to be the money, right? Well, he signed a contract worth 80 million yen, which is nearly $600,000 today, and an annual salary of $7.2 million. But like the MLB has a minor league that every player goes through first, he also went to the Japan Minors, which is called the Eastern League. In 28 games before April 2018, he batted .311 with three home runs and 20 RBIs, and he won the league MVP for the month of June and was voted into the fresh all-star game the next month. In September 2018, something happened. He was promoted to the main squad of the Swallows, debuting as a third baseman, and he immediately hit a home run in his first at bat. But in the next five days, he failed to make any more hits and was soon demoted to the minors where he played the remainder of his games there. While he was back there, he picked up his form yet again. He finished with 17 home runs, 16 stolen bases, 70 RBIs, and a batting average of 288. He also won the Rookie of the Year award, and then he won the MVP in the postseason. This was all the motivation he needed to take on the NPB even harder. In February 2019, the Japan national baseball team honored him with a call to join the squad at the 2019 exhibition games against Mexico, and he was only 19 years of age. 
When the league started, he was assigned the third base spot and became the youngest Swallows player to start in the season opening game. The last time this was done was in 1958 and the player who did it was 21-year-old Saikichi Nishioka. He played very well, hitting his 10th home run by May and in July he was called to the All-Star game as the youngest fielder in the team, earning the third base spot and the home run derby showdown. The kid said, after the selection, I'm happy because it's the first time. I know it'll be nerve-wracking, but it's not an experience for everyone, so I'm looking forward to it. And when everyone was back from the All-Star break, Morikami reminded them again that he meant business. In August, he became the youngest player in the history of the NPB to hit a walk-off home run. But he was just getting started. When he recorded his 30th home run in August, he became the first player drafted out of high school to reach 30 within two years of entering the league. Then the following month, he broke a similar record, except this time around, he did it with RBIs, recording 87. He was also the only player on the team to play for all 143 games in the season. When the league ended, he had 36 home runs, 96 RBIs, and was given the Central League Rookie of the Year award. He also received a massive raise in salary, earning an additional 37 million yen that year. Then the kid made national headlines again by helping the Japanese team win gold at the 2020 Olympics held in 2021. In that same year, he won the Central League MVP award after recording 112 RBIs, a batting average of .278, a second place in slugging percentage, and 39 home runs. After his CL MVP award, which gave him an additional 3 million yen, he said, Very honored to win this award. I didn't win this alone. I feel a lot of gratitude toward the Swallows and everyone who supported me, and I want to say thank you. But in 2022, he showed that he wasn't just a promise anymore, but the real deal. First thing he did that rocked the Japanese sports headlines came just two games into the season. He became the first player in the MPB to record a home run in five straight plate appearances. He then recorded his 55th home run of the season on the September of 13, 2022. This tied Sadaharu O's record for the most home runs in a season by a Japanese player. His 55th home run also tied him at second with O, Alex Cabrera, and Tuffy Rhodes for the NPB overall home run per season. The scary thing was, he still had a lot of games to beat the 55 mark and give himself a lot of gap in the history books. Unfortunately, he went into a slump. In 61 at-bats in 13 games, he didn't record even one home run. This made everyone nervous, but thankfully, the collected sigh of relief came in October 22nd when he finally hit another home run to make it 56, breaking O's record. At the end of the season, he had 134 RBIs, an OBP of .458, 12 stolen bases with 144 runs scored. He also won the Triple Crown Award, becoming the youngest player to do so. Then the MVP award was snatched by him in a landslide vote. This made him the first position player since O to win the MVP award unanimously. Then the talks of him coming to the MLB began to float around. Personally, he told Coyoto News that he would like to play in the MLB. Of course, I want to try. I don't know how old I'll be, but I'm still young, so the sooner the better. It'll involve discussions with the Swallows, but if I can go, I want to go soon. But coming to the MLB at this time and at his age is no easy feat. The international bonus pools instituted by the MLB limits his chances until he's 25 years of age. It's not like it can't be done. After all, Shohei Otani came to the MLB when he was 23 years old. It's just that it'll cost the team more money to do this. So he decided to wait a while by signing a new deal worth 600 million yen per season. That's roughly $4.4 .4 million for the next three years with the Swallows. But we all know that there's a high chance that this will increase with incentives like we've seen in the past. This deal also means that he still has a lot of time to break the home run record of 60 per season in the NPB, which is still held by former Reds and Mariners outfielder Vladimir Ballantin. As for the Swallows, who will be losing a gem, their president, Tsuyoshi Kinogasa, spoke of his proposed departure, saying, It'd be a huge blow to our club, but he is a treasure in the baseball world. I'm sure baseball fans in Japan want to see him play in the majors. If you enjoyed this video about Munataka Murakami, check out the video on the screen now or the one we posted below because we're sure you'll like that one too. 
See you there.